Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful one acre community of Bell Oaks. And the reason I'm here is because I've got clients who might be interested in the house behind me. This house is actually a parade of homes house built by Mission Design and Build. It's a beautiful home. Let's go check it out. This house was actually featured in the 2021 Greater San Antonio Area Parade of Homes. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, square footage is almost 3,500, and it is drop dead beautiful. The other homes around here were all built in uh, for the Parade of Homes as well. So you're gonna have some beautiful homes in this uh, on this part of the Bell Oaks community. All right, let's go ahead and head on inside. I just want to point out the metal roof is beautiful. I like the door. Let's go check out the inside of it. All right, this is a beautiful entry. Love the wood up top. Plenty of space if you want to set up some chairs. So you can have some front porch sitting going on. And if you're sitting on the front porch, this is the view you have. The sun is setting as you can see it's kind of setting back here off to the side so that's good for if you're on the back porch it's not blowing wide and it's right into your back of the house loving the horseshoe driveway that is not cheap to get done but this house because it was a parade of homes home they've already done all the landscaping and they put a lot of extra bells and whistles in it including this really cool door and it's a heavy door all right right when you come in you do have a pass-through fireplace, meaning that you can have, uh, you can see it from both sides. And I took the rock all the way up on this fireplace. You have some neat, neat little tile work here, uh, giving you, separating the space so you have a little sitting area. And I definitely like the blue uh, painted bookshelves here. Very cool. Now, while just after I did my intro, my client showed up. So they've checked out this house and the owner, Mike Reed, showed up. So we've been here for a little while and he's been talking us through. It's always good to have a builder who's the owner. He lives in the community and very easy to get along with a guy. The guy seemed like he was bending, would bend over backwards to make sure his clients are taken care of. But you do have a nice little formal dining room area and a really neat kitchen. Loving the custom cabinetry work with the glass up top. And uh, nice KitchenAid ovens. And because of the Parade of Homes, they do a little extra stuff because they really want a wow factor for when you have people come through. So you've got lots and lots of extra little built-ins in this cabinet. Isn't that neat? So there's quite a few little neat things that already come in with this house. Oh, and uh, mentioning the microwave. I know I've been saying it a lot lately because I've been seeing these more and more. Definitely like those uh, top opening microwaves. All right, let's go back to looking at this house. Beautiful lights in here. Ceramic, I mean a uh, tile floor. This cabinetry here, built in, this does not come standard. They did this special for the Parade of Homes just so we could have a little more wow factor. We do have a flex space. Now, not all the lights are working right now. Oh, these are, there we go, much better. I just noticed when I was going through checking lights, not all of them working, but man, this is a great flex space room, kids room, media room, whatever you want it to be room, because there's also an office. So you don't have to hold this space just for the office. All right, we're coming into kind of the uh, kids world area slash guest bedroom space. So all these are eight foot doors. This is the perfect uh, guest space for short-term or long-term guest. Big room. There we go. Okay, we got those lights on. 
who's ever staying here is going to have the, their own shower. They are going to be putting a uh, glass shower door in there. They're still working on it. As you can tell, there's some blue tape everywhere. They're still working on a few things, just the finishing touches. Decent sized closet. Someone trying to call me. I will enter them later. All right, bad camera work there. All right, let's go on. We do have the two Jack and Jill or semi Jack and Jill bedrooms. So beautiful bedrooms, tall ceilings. There we go, get some light in. And uh, these are not your standard windows. You can see kind of a little hue in there. There's a special sealant that they put on these windows to make sure they're gonna be even more UV protectant. But uh, yeah, there's some fancy windows. I'm not gonna take my time to open it up. But uh, really nice windows. Coming in, notice more really cool tile work. I can find a light switch. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, figured it out. But tall bathroom, so you would have a joint area for each kiddo if you had two. Could be sharing those sinks. Then you have the toilet and the shower area. Cool tile. Remember, this house isn't completely finished yet, so don't mind some of the messes. And then the other bedroom. Coming out and this is going into your laundry room slash garage space. Start off with the laundry room. Plenty of space for your washer and dryer. Some nice built-in shelves and other shelves there. Good storage for cleaning supplies or whatever you want to use it for. Another extra closet that can be used for as an extra pantry or storage. Let's check out this big garage. All right, this is a three car garage. Really deep three car garage, especially this side. It does have the uh, tankless water heater and plumb for a water softener. Coming in from the garage, you can see they got the mud room, perfect place for kiddos to hang their backpacks, put their dirty shoes, and some extra storage up top. Notice this hallway is uh, fairly wide already at this side, but as you go down, it even widens up more. It's still some tall ceilings in here. All right, back into the main living space. I should have come through and turned all these lights on before doing this video, but you have super tall ceilings in here. Just beautiful. Ooh, let's go outside first. All right, this is, like I mentioned in my intro, a one acre community, so of course this is a one acre lot. They've already got the wood trim put up top that's usually a pretty substantial upgrade but that's been done and check out this living space out here it's really extensive um, that was the garage right there it's in the back of the house but lots of different windows all the way around so why that's important is every part of this house you'll be looking out as a big benefit if you have a pool out here so that means every window you can be overlooking the pool. Really cool. And the sun, like I mentioned, is going to be on this side of the house. So you're going to have some really nice shade even when it's the hottest part of the day. And as I'm filming it, it's 4.45 late July 2021. So just tons of space out here. This, is, this community is on septic, so you do have your septic tank on the side. Lots of nice oak trees, so lots of potential. Because you do have the wires back there, there will be nobody behind you. That's gonna be a green space separating the two. 
and the community is putting walking trails and biking trails and stuff back that direction. Find the right door. There we go. All right. This uh, island does have drawers, I mean, a uh, little cabinet space underneath there. Uh, Perry, and sometimes you'll see Guillen do that, but it's nice seeing it even in the higher end custom build world. It's just a nice feature to have. All right, let's go into the owner suite side of the house. Oop, almost. Because remember I mentioned it has an office. Okay, none of those light switches worked. It may be over there, but you do have a full size office. There are four cans all around it. So once they get the finishes touches on it, there will be no problem with light in here and still be able to sit at your desk, see the pool outside and see what else is going on. If, if you put a pull out there. All right, let's continue on. All right, now we're coming into the owner suite section, big, big French doors and lots of space here. Yeah, none of these lights are working. Tall tray ceilings, loving the extra light capability. And once again, a door leading to your back patio. Still more eight foot French doors leading into the retreat. Oh, check out this closet. Big, big closet. Loving the island there in the middle. And this is kind of neat little closet. If you have uh, weapons and you have to put them in there do whatever type of locking mechanism you want, but you can still have access to your weapons from uh, your uh, master bedroom. All right, let's check out this bath. Dig in the tile floor. Now the shower area here, they are gonna be putting glass up. They're still, still working on this house. Just a little finishing touches left, but you do have a big, beautiful window there. And they will be putting the mirrors up. They're still working on it. So nice double vanity, really neat. And your little linen closet right there. All right. Let's give one last look at this main living area and the tall extra windows up top just for more additional light. Dual ovens. I mean, this house has a lot going for it. And um, right now the builder, they are asking for $989,000 for this house. And in this community, that is probably, I don't know if I've seen a house under a million dollars on this road because this has been all the parade of homes houses. So every house in this area of Bell Oaks has been just really top notch custom homes where the custom builders went nutso with uh, showing off everything they can do. All right. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this beautiful home done by Mission Design and Build. I sure hope my clients put, decide to put an offer on it because this is a beautiful home. I think it's going to fit all their needs. But if you're looking for something like this in the area and you're not already working with a realtor, feel free to reach out to me. I'm trying to grow my business and yeah, these YouTube videos are working pretty good. Uh, also, if you find value in these and even if you are working with a realtor, still like, subscribe and share them with your friends. I'm happy to help if you need it. All right, take care now.